Hey folks, welcome to a very special video collaboration between Autofreaks.com, Evo, Roda Pusing and Carlis. We've got Arvin, Hisham, Keegan and Chris, myself and we've got something really special for you today, the Volkswagen Passat V8. Hey folks, so we're back with the VW Passat. Now we want to talk about the looks. Now I don't think VW got it wrong when it came up with this Passat. I mean, it's a solid looking car. What do you think, Arvin? I don't know, it's, it's a bit sedate. It's, it's a bit the, safe, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, it, it's big on the inside, it's big on the outside. Um, it's the kind of car you can drive to work every day or you know, for holidays with your family. Yeah. But it wasn't really that exciting, was it? Yeah, but, you know, and you got this newer rung of cars that have come in, you know, like the Master 6 and this D segment uh, segments oh, yeah. that are, you know, they really infused a lot of style and, and sportiness. And, yes. You know, and you spunk. want something exciting. You know, you get up in the morning, you go outside, you're like, wow, you know, I want to drive that. So I guess knowing that, they came up with this. Let's go, Let's go have a look. So this, folks, is the new Passat B8. Now, straight off the bat, you can tell it's a lot sportier. It is lower it is wider they've got this huge chrome grille going on the front and arvin what's the thing called the tornado line yeah okay uh chris it's this line that runs the length of the car which actually makes it, it gives that the impression the car's kind of lower to the ground so it's like sportier and it you know it leans forward yes it's hunkered down and hunkered down and it's it. got this it's actually 12 mm wider than the older one it is lower in terms of the roof line uh, but the big deal is is the wheelbase it's actually 80 mm longer so it's it's about eight centimeters longer than the old one. So we've got less rear overhangs, front and rear. And what is that impression that it gives you? It's like it's low, it's it's powerful, it's ready to go, and it looks good. I agree. And now let's take a look at what's under the bonnet. And for that, we're gonna let Keegan from Evo run you through the engine. In the powertrain sector, what I have here is the old B7 Passat, where it comes with the old 1.8 liter engine. It puts 153 horsepower and 250 newton meters of torque. Now the new Passat B8 over here, it comes with a new 2-litre engine and it puts out 217 horsepower with 350 newton meters of torque. Now you see that is 100 nm more than the older car. And the new Passat actually features an electronic differential known as the XDS Plus. Okay folks, we've seen the outside, we've seen the engine, now it's time to drive. The guys are ready, let's go. Let's go. Hey folks, so we're in the Volkswagen Passat. We're cruising at about 60 kilometers an hour. The revs are barely a tick over. I mean, they're like a 1,100 RPM. Uh, we'll show you the instrument cluster in a little while, but I gotta tell you, this, this car is really, really quiet. All I hear is tire noise. Um, Arvin, what's it like at the back? It's actually, I mean, that, that, that growth in the wheelbase, I, I've got so much room right now. My knees are hardly even near the... And you're a tall dude. But yeah, and I'm, I'm, I think, around six feet. And, um, yeah, it's quiet. I mean, I uh, besides the slight tire roar that I hear, I, it's very composed, it's very quiet, it's very comfortable, the ride at the back. So maybe it just needs some quieter tires, huh? Yeah, perhaps. Keegan, what's it like behind the wheel? Uh, well, I will agree with the guys when it comes to the ride quality, but uh, having driven the old car not too long ago, uh, it is actually a bit more firmer, but then again, uh, I wouldn't be surprised if it actually scales well in the corners. Yeah, so dynamically, uh, I think it is actually better than the old car and the steering actually feels a bit more lighter but the response is still there. Nice, does it get, does it get a bit heavier as, as it goes faster? Uh, a little bit, but then again, it is quite a light system but it is adequate enough actually. Awesome. Yeah. You know what I really like about this interior guys? I gotta tell you, it's the clock. I love analog clocks. You know, <laughs> digital clocks, they just make the whole car look cheap. But this analog clock is right in the middle. Um, even guys at the back can see it. Yeah. Yeah, so, you know, it's, it, I mean, some thought has been given to this. So, you know, I love it. And, and what about that wood trim, right? You know, that just slides it right underneath. I know. I'm not a really big fan of wood trim, but this is this is pretty classy. I mean, this looks pretty nice. Yeah, it blends in well with the new cabin design. You can see there is a redesigned dashboard. This all new Passat. It comes with a seamless icon design 
over here. Right. Yeah, right. it stretches out throughout the whole dashboard into up to the driver's point over here as well. Wow. How about that leather? How is the leather? Is it? Like I said, it's, it's tactile to the touch. Um, and it's it's got this this ribbing in the stitch uh, in the stitches right now, which I. I mean, it adds a, a bit of detail. I, I, I quite like it. I mean, um, I would say maybe four perfect, but I mean, you could put five people very comfortably and you know, right in the center. Even if you look at the backs, I, I think there's a bit more attention to detail this time around. And there's one thing I noticed is the rear aircon enclosure. Uh, it's you know, it's got this piano black trim around it, and uh, very nice touch. Know, yeah, nice. where you know, you, the older one, I, I, I quite. I can't quite remember if they did anything besides just plonking two aircon vents around it. Um, it's, it's the small touches that, that actually make a difference, don't they, in the long run? Yeah, I think it, it, it kind of brightens up the the interior rather than just seeing a whole facade of black, you know? Uh, yeah, it, it's quite inviting in the rear, I must say. And yes, being at the wheel with uh, these very nice seats, it will please a lot of mal munchers out there. It is a very comfortable car on a long journey, as I would say it is. It's, it's very comfy. Mm. Uh, the seats have enough of support. Uh, it is electronically adjustable. Very support, lumbar. High. It's electronic on my side too. Cool, look yeah. at that. Fully loaded. Yeah. Yeah, well worth the money. And this is the tallest of us. I've got lots of headroom here. Yep. I mean, that's a hell of a lot of headroom here. Steering wheel adjustment, brick and brace as well. Perfect. Ha ha ha! 